everyone. Today I'm sharing 10 items that stylish women never wear. So basically I'll be sharing specific examples of items that look kind of cheap and outdated versus chic and stylish. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is just a no brainer and it's just terrible fabric, which granted fabric has come a long way in the last few years. Um, but I did wanna share some specific examples of things that look bad versus good or cheap versus chic. Uh, the first being black, my goodness, black fabric has such a tendency to look faded and dated. So take a look at your blacks. Some might not be so good and it might be time to part ways. Also, I can't stand fabrics that as soon as you iron them or steam them, you turn a certain way, you sit down and you're a wrinkled mess. That is cheap fabric. But speaking of fabric that to me just always looks expensive, always elevates you to look very, very chic is silk. So I have been obsessed with Lily Silk for so many years now. I've gotten my mom obsessed, my friends obsessed. So I have teamed up with them for this video because their silk pieces are just so perfect for looking chic without even trying. So let's start off with what I am wearing. I'm wearing this beautiful silk dress by Lily Silk. I'll have everything linked down below, by the way. Um, I have a code with them. I do not make money from the code, but it's Shea 15 and you'll save 15% on your whole order. Um, but yeah, back to this, this really pretty dress. I love it so much. I love the straps. They're so thin. I love the little pearl detail here. I think there's some pearl detail on the back as well. They're just, it's just such a beautiful dress. It does come in many different colors, almost all of their items. There's a huge selection of color options. Lily Silk does offer the best silk, the highest grade 6A mulberry silk. It's like the longest, fibered silk. So everything is so soft, breathable, it's hypoallergenic, um, it's temperature regulating. So a lot of people love their silk sheets and bedding and, and the pillowcases. I also have so many blouses. I would definitely recommend maybe getting a blouse or two. I'll show some here on the screen. Uh, I love the ones that kind of have some detail on them with striping. I love just the plain button down ones. Those are so classic and wearable. I also love the ones where you can kind of like tie it and cinch it at your neckline. Again, it just makes you look expensive, even though the price point of Lily Silk is so affordable for silk. I mean, silk is really known for being a very, very expensive fabric and Lily Silk's price points are just the best that I've found. I've also gotten my mom hooked on it. Like I said, she loves their silk nightgowns. I have the PJs, which you're seeing me wear here. Love them so much. So again, I will have them linked down below and I just encourage you guys to just look at them and make maybe have a few silk pieces in your wardrobe. The next items that stylish women never wear are animal prints in the wrong coloring, which when I say that out loud and I verbalize it, it sounds weird. It's like, why would anyone do that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me show you though. Here is a leopard pattern shirt that is orange. We also have a tiger print shirt that's rainbow. I don't understand it, but I kind of, I kind of do. I kind of understand where it's coming from. So I think a lot of people think that animal patterns and prints are just a classic pattern that never goes out of style. And I kind of agree with that. But where you kind of see it wrong is, you know, people liking to incorporate color into their outfits, which can be good. But when you just mix it all together, that's where you can look cheap instead of chic. So that's actually a really good segue into the next items that I think stylish women just never wear. And that is funky colored pieces, like just a lot of colors mixed together in a bad way. And I have specific examples. So the first being a lot of neon colors together. Now I'm not totally against neon. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I think it can be done very well if you stick to one color, like a solid print color. Uh, but for instance, this shirt, there's just too many neon colors together and it just looks bad. That also leads me to geometric patterns. Again, I'm not against geometric patterns, but if there's too many colors, that's when it can look cheap. Um, so maybe stick to two to three colors max. I also wanted to show this shirt as an example, and I hope none of you feel personally attacked by this because I do still see a lot of people wearing this type of pattern shirt, even though it's from years and years ago. So I feel like it is kind of dated now. Um, but again, lots of colors going on and this specific pattern is always very swirly and dreamy and it always has like this weird cutout of the pattern. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a wrinkled cutout of the pattern. Uh, I don't really think you can buy these shirts anymore. They were so popular a long time ago, but again, Again, it's an example of something that might not be so stylish anymore. Open-toed boots. 
the next item we need to talk about. Normally I stand here and I'm like, if you love something, you just wear it. I'm not gonna say that about open-toed boots. I do not understand them at all. Then also peep-toed heels, which I recently talked about in, in a video. And ironically enough, about a week later after that, I found these in my basement. Uh, they're from Target. They're kind of worn looking, which means I must've worn them a lot. But I remember saying that like, well, I just hate feet. I hate feet. And so I feel like peep toe heels are just like this little naggy peepy thing that like they, you just see your little toe sticking up at you and it's like, ah, I'm a toe, I'm a toe. This is like, if, if you love it, okay, I'm donating those. Uh, but open toed boots, that's just a hard no. And also, if you're enjoying this video at all, consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe, just maybe if you're feeling extra friendly, you can consider subscribing down below. It is free. Yes. Puffer jackets are next. And I'm not totally against puffer jackets. I just think that there are so many more other jacket options. Like so many more stylish jacket options out there to choose from rather than a puffer jacket. Let's also analyze the word puffer. I think of a puffer fish. I think of a marshmallow. I think of basically anything not flattering. I think that it's going to make you look way bigger than you actually are. And also I know some people might say, but they're so warm. And I just think there's a lot of other warmer options out there that again, will make you look more stylish. Next up we have designer wannabe items. And I do wanna say, I'm totally fine with like designer inspired things. I mean, heck, half the time, really high end luxury designers copy each other and get inspiration from each other. But it's where the logos come into play that I have a problem. So these are trying to be Gucci sandals, uh, but they've tweaked the logo just a bit to get around the legality of it. Uh, mm -hmm. At first glance, it's like, oh, these are Gucci sandals, but then you realize, oh no, 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 they're not. Um, and I didn't buy these. These were sent to me from like a random Amazon seller and I ended up keeping them just to show you. So honestly, I feel like if you wear these, you're gonna look cheap instead of chic. You should probably just wear a very simple, basic pair of sandals and you're better off. Okay, so upon reflection, this next item, I'm now questioning my advice, uh, but we'll take it with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, nobody's gonna even see you wearing your gross, disgusting, matted old slippers that are full of your foot sweat. I do not know why we are talking about feet so much in this video, but I do have a solution. I really think that breathable slippers are the way to go. I feel like they're stylish and cute. They, they still give some warmth to your foot, but they don't make your feet sweat, which leads to gross matted slippers. But with that said, I am not a huge fan of my toes sticking out either. Uh, so it's really just a give and take. I, I don't know what the answer is. Next up, let's talk about khaki pants. Cause that's the thing. Nobody's talking about khaki pants anymore. Nobody's wearing khaki pants anymore. If you are still wearing khaki pants, I'm gonna give you some different options. Uh, so the point of khaki pants, in my opinion, has always been just like the in-between middle ground. You wanna look a little dressy, but you don't wanna fully commit. So khaki pants was where it was at. Uh, now I think maybe just white denim. Uh, it's again like comfortable, but you look a little bit more dressy than just a pair of jeans. Um, I also highly suggest maybe wide leg trousers that are a little bit high waisted. I love those so much. They look so good, especially with a pair of heels, a basic blouse. You're good to go again without even trying. The next items that stylish women choose to not wear are old and thin leggings, also colored leggings. I talked about that before. You can look a little, a little circusy. Um, refer back to point number two and three, uh, but then also fading of the black, point number one. See, all of this just comes full circle, but really when it comes down to leggings, you wanna take a look at the material. And I tend to think like the smoother material, kind of almost like a, a swimsuit material, tends to last a little bit longer than the fabric leggings that tend to pill, fade, and not look so good. So this is my cat. Always interrupting. <laughs> Stylish women also never wear things that don't fit properly. Now, I know you know this, but there are some other things to pay attention to that people don't really talk about. Uh, so let's just get the easy things out of the way. I mean, the length of pants, you don't want them too short, you don't want them too long. Uh, people always talk about the, the length on the shoulders, like if the seam is past the shoulders, it looks too big. People also always talk about, you know, the backs of the jeans or the denim. If there's a big gap back there, then obviously you have the wrong size pants. But let's also talk about kind of the opposite thing to consider with the shoulders. I mean, if the seam line is too far into your shoulders, which I see a lot, again, especially on this ugly leopard orange 
shirt, uh, but that can look constricting and like you're trying to fit into something that just doesn't fit. Another example are these shorts and they fit me great otherwise. Like they're actually a very well fitted pair of shorts but there's weird extra fabric around the leg. And so it just looks like they don't fit me, even though they kind of do. So be aware of that. So that is everything. I will have Lily Silk linked down below in the description box, along with my code for 15% off. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.